everyone and welcome to this new episode of Driven by Drivers. My name is Frank and today I'll be driving this very rare Toyota MR2. Wait, this is rare? Yeah, it was a limited edition. It's pretty rare. How rare? Well, there were only a thousand produced, so you better be careful. No worries, man. I got this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> better take it easy. Just drive carefully. Nice and slow. It just keeps rubbing. First of all, let me explain why I'm on this side of the car. Well, steering wheel is here, so it kind of makes sense. But apart from that, Toyota only sold this car in a very limited number, in Japan only. This car is a true GDM import, so that's why I'm on this side of the car. So what makes this car so special that it had to be imported from Japan? The answer is very simple. It has a red top beams engine, which was only available on the Japanese market. It's a 2 liter engine with a lot more forged bits and pieces. The ignition timing is sharpened and the compression is a lot higher, which results in a very responsive engine. It was one of the first engines to be fitted with variable valve timing with intelligence, better known as the VVTi system. A system that tilts the camshaft at a certain RPM, so the valves open up wider. All of this is good for 200 horsepower and 210 Nm of torque, which in a chassis like this is close to perfection. This car feels so light to drive and the steering is utterly precise. The limited slip differential gives you so much confidence and driving this feels like I am the car, because I'm literally sitting between the engine and the steering wheel. It feels like I became part of this car and it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm pushing this car through the corner. I am the machine and it's me on the road, not the car. I don't think I ever felt so connected to a car before. It's almost like my body is running on oil and fuel now as well. And you need to use tools to get me out. It's such a pure feeling you get from this car. I instantly get why this engine is so desirable. It keeps revving and because the car only weighs 1250 kilograms, the power is more than enough. And what adds even more is this very, very loud exhaust. I mean, I normally don't like loud exhaust. They wake me up at night and I hate neighbors who have them. But on a car like this, you kind of need them. Now the suspension is also changed. This car is on adjustable coilovers and that adds so much to this car. I mean, when Toyota initially developed this car, the suspension was really shit. But now, yeah, it's really, really good. But nothing, really nothing beats this engine. Holy shit! Oh fucking hell man! This is some good fun! I can't keep doing this all day! But it's probably better if I don't. I mean, I don't want to get into trouble or something like that. I better enjoy the luxury this car has to offer. Because it's the Beams version, it's specced with almost everything you could get on the MR2. I mean, don't expect lane assist or cruise control. This is a car from 1998 and it's all about the driving experience, not comfort. 
but we do have climate control to make your life easier. And there's remote central locking and an alarm system. We have electric windows and electric adjustable mirrors as well. And this car has the option to also fold the mirrors in electronically. Very nice, but it does miss something more important for me. For a car that's so based on the driver's feeling and performance, it would have been nice to see an oil pressure gauge or a oil temperature on the dashboard. With a car like this, you know people will use it as intended. And with that kind of knowledge, I would rather know some crucial information about my oil than be able to retract my mirrors from the inside. It's nice to have a lazy button for that stuff, but yeah, now I don't know if I'm going to blow my engine. But if you ever break down because you didn't know about your oil, you still have a pretty car to look at. The way Toyota integrated Starwood functionality on this MR2 is simply brilliant. This whole car is designed to create downforce. The low nose and bumper design, the pop-up headlights that won't reduce airflow when folded in, the angle of which the windshield is placed at, it leaves no other choice for the air than to smoothly go over. And the roof line is lower than your mom's price for You get the point, it's low. The fading out of the roof line into the spoiler and the way the rear bumper is shaped to push the air into the airflow of the spoiler, I think it's absolutely mind blowing how they made a car that's so oriented on performance look so beautiful. And with an engine like this fitted, it's very hard to control yourself. It just keeps revving. This way, this car is not safe for my driver's license. And little did I know what was about to happen. Oh, let's see. For legal reasons, I cannot show you the footage until the day has come that I have to go to court. But I was allowed to post this picture. All I can say is that I made a stupid mistake, got caught, and now I have to face the consequences. Take my advice and learn from my mistake. Just obey the law, driving is a serious business. Cars aren't toys and the roads are not playgrounds. Just keep that in mind when driving. We did start casting for someone who can fill in for me for a couple of months, but we're not really sure about this. Hello team! Today we're driving Le Bucket 2. It's a very sporty car, so shut the fuck up. So let's go ride it! Let us know if you want to see more of him. For me in the meanwhile, it would probably be better if I try some new things. And the weather today is... Hello everyone and welcome by het Zwarte Pieter Journal. For now I would like to say thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Ik wil nog niet heel veel verklappen, maar dit is echt een flinke spoiler. Oh, dit is weer goed voor de bloopers dit. Ja, en in deze aflevering 10 minuten lang bloopers. Je benen staan een beetje raar. Sorry. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to this new episode of Driven by Drivers. Jongens, it's quite over 11, we hebben de intro nog niet eens klaar. Come on. <laughs> okay, come on up. I so. We zijn nog een kap. Wat? Maar wedden dat het voor de, voor de lockdown is gebeurd, want de kappen zijn gesloten. Hello everyone and welcome to this new episode of Driven by Drivers. My name is Frank 
and today I'll be driving this very rare Toyota MR2. Wacht even man, mijn telefoon ging trillen. God! Wee wee! Ik word gebeld! Die wordt ook opgenomen! Oh jezus! Kaart! Denk je wel! Helemaal keihard doen! Die trees hebben been kaart! Hallo everyone! Vermoeiend. Ik doe mijn best. Niet. Nee, dat klopt. Frank, je bent ontslagen. Damn it.